What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. A lot of times athletes will come to me and say, Jeff, whenever I do a pressing movement, either a bench press or an overhead press, I get a lot of crunching and grinding in my shoulder. And it's either painful or it's just bothersome. Is there anything I can do about it? And unfortunately, a lot of times, it's the rest of our training that leads us to the point where we are feeling the symptoms of the results of our bad training. So if we're already in that situation though, there's gotta be something we can try to do to get around that and hopefully even long term address that so maybe we can help to get rid of some of that crunch and grinding that's going on in the joint. If we're gonna do that, we can do some drills here that'll actually help us to get through a single workout, but if you do them long term and a little bit more consistently, get through a lot more than that, actually start to help correct the problem. And we can do that here by getting into position to do what we would call a mobilization. Now, you have to understand guys, there's a big difference between mobility and mobilization. For me as a PT, mobilization means actually trying to mobilize a joint to restore normal joint mechanics to whatever joint we're talking about. Whereas mobility can be a catch-all phrase that includes things to stretch muscles and things to decrease pain and things to, of course, work on our joints as well. But you can't use the word mobilization for every single thing we do because it's not really what we're talking about. Improving mobility by using mobilizations would mean that we're gonna attack the joints and that's what we're gonna do here. You get yourself in position as if you're in a bench press and you attach just a red band here to an anchor point. This is one of our athlete extreme bands. Now, you put it above your bicep and what we're trying to recreate here is the key point to this entire concept of mobilizations. Again, somewhere where I think a lot of guys get off track when they're talking about mobility. If you're trying to mobilize a joint and restore the normal mechanics of that joint, you wanna to try to do that out of what we call the open pack position of that particular joint. And here we're talking about the glenohumeral joint, the ball and socket in our shoulder, because that's where we're feeling the grinding. If you're gonna do this, the open pack position is one in which the arm is held about 60 degrees away from the side of your body. So if this is zero, 60 degrees away from the side of your body into abduction, and then up about 30 degrees off the ground. Okay, so what this does is, it's critical is that it creates the position where the joint is it's at its loosest, at its most vulnerable to what we're trying to do. And that's a good thing, because if we're protecting or guarding or holding too tight, there's no way we're gonna have an influence at all on this joint. So in this position, this open pack or loose pack position, we have the least amount of ligament tension, we have the least amount of capsular tension, and we're able to actually do something in this joint that might have a long-standing effect. So the, that, that resting position, again, you anchor above your bicep, you get yourself, again, about 60 degrees out, 30 degrees up, and then from here, I'm actually starting to now slide, I might slide a little bit out of frame, but I slide my body against the tension of the band. So now I'm getting this kind of pull in this direction, okay, out this way. I'm getting a nice distraction of the glenohumeral joint, so I actually feel like I'm getting a little bit of loosening in here. It actually feels good without me even doing anything yet. So now I got the tension. Now I just reach across, again, up over the bicep. I reach across, I grab just above the wrist, nice and loose, okay? It doesn't matter what I'm doing up here. What matters is what's going on here in my arm, okay? This is the, the, the humerus up here. This is the part of the ball and socket that we're working on. And I just pull a little bit here, and I roll a little bit away. So what I'm doing is, both with my hand and with my body, I'm creating a force in this direction, and the band is pulling me back in that direction. Again, I reestablish this resting position here, get out to the side, and off the ground in that right position, and I just hold it here. And I can kind of pull a little bit more and roll a little bit more in this direction, and I get a really nice distraction going on in through my shoulder. Again, feeling like I'm getting some good separation, creating a little bit of space. Now, after I've done that, now I get back in the position, I go grab my dumbbells or my barbell and I get in this position here and I press. <laughs> and I feel, even from just not doing this side, I feel a huge difference. It feels nice and loose. I've actually created a little bit more space in here and I feel like I can actually press without getting all that crunching in my shoulder. Here's the issue. If you want to make this a long-standing fix, you better work on that three, four times a week. Okay, multiple times, because doing it just now might get me through my workout, but if you're not going to start focusing on doing it multiple times, you're not really going to make any long-standing changes, and especially if you're not going to respect the resting positions of these joints, whichever joint you're working on, you're not going to be able to get the job done effectively. Of course, avoiding some of those crappy exercises that maybe put you in this position in the first place is key as well. Guys, if you want to start training like an athlete and getting around the exercises that maybe aren't the best for your body, but still optimizing your strength and your performance, 
I invite you to head to athletics.com and let me coach you through our athletics training systems. Again, as a physical therapist, I think it's one of the biggest advantages I bring to the programs that we create are the ability to bring the science back into what we do. You can get those at athletics.com. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful and you like the idea behind including some of these uh, mobilization drills into what we do, just let me know below and I'll make sure I bring more to you. All right, guys, we'll be back here again soon.